share with you guys i haven't done one of these videos and i don't know it's probably been about five months i don't know i can't remember y'all but you know excited about doing this get ready with me because you guys want to do something a little bit different just a little bit so like i said this is my first time trying this i don't know how it's going to work out but we'll see but anyway so the first thing I like to apply is some baby oil on my face. It's a little bit of that on my face. Yes, yes, yes. And you guys, for I went ahead and did my lashes because you know doing lashes on camera is just too much for me. I can't do it. So I went ahead and applied my lashes and took care of that. But y'all, I can't believe it. it's October. Time is really going by, you guys. It is going by so freaking fast until it is just super duper crazy but anyway nevertheless i want to come in and talk to you guys about a couple of things that's been going on give you guys a lot a life update about me and let you know where i am and you know all that good fun stuff so one of the friends one of the, um all right you guys i'm gonna put some concealer on this is by bh cosmetics um so the one thing one of the things i want to talk to you guys about is of course um, I want to talk to you guys about personal goals. I would say back in August sometime. Yeah, August. I'll say August. I decided to set some personal goals for myself, y'all. Now, it was it had nothing to do with nobody else. It was just all about me, myself, and I. Like, this is something that Danielle wanted to do for Danielle. So what I did was I just made a list. I made a list of about 10 things, 10 things that I know that I could possibly either start working on in August and achieve before 2020 kicked in. So I just made it real short and simple, you guys. It was from, it was so simple to the point where I did something like, I wrote down like if there's a certain type of boot I wanna get for the fall or if there's a certain type of style pants I wanna have for the fall. Or I had, I even went a step further. I even made me like a little uh, wardrobe portfolio about how I want to dress and how I want to get clothes for the fall. You know, it was about, you know, me um, getting my weight down. It was about um, me taking care of just self-care of myself, like completely self-care of myself, you guys. Me just changing my mindset about about a lot of things and and life and stuff like that. So you guys, I've been doing this since I've been doing this since August, and I am not gonna sit up here and tell you guys that I'm a one hundred. Kudos, I'm a one hundred and everywhere I want to be with my personal goals because this is one thing that I've learned. When you set personal goals, you guys, this is a lifestyle. It is not one of those things that. You can just say, oh, okay, I achieved this. I'm good. Let me move on to the next thing and you be done with it. No, like taking care of yourself is like, that's a lifestyle. Like eating better, you know, that's something everybody should want to do. What I learned about the personal goals that I set you guys is like, I just want to have, I want to have a better lifestyle for myself, period, point blank. And you know, it's one thing that I'm learning as I grow and grow and things are getting better on my channel and my channel is growing and I'm growing as a person is that I want to be my brand. I am striving every day to, to be keeping my life in order. You know, that is a part of, that is also one of my personal goals. So I will tell you guys, like I said, it has not been easy, but I am steadily trying and I'm investing more into me. I'm investing more into what it is that, you know, Danielle wants to do. And I'm excited about that and I'm happy about it. I can say, you know, I have, I'm changing and it's a good change. I feel the change in myself, y'all. 
Like I feel the change all in me. Oh, y'all just applying some concealer. And, and do I know what I'm doing? No, not really, but you know what? I'm rolling with it. <laughs> and two, the biggest thing that I can say that's been helping me since I've been on my personal goals, working on my personal goals, is that I really have changed my mindset. You guys, changing your mindset can do a lot for you. It can take you a lot of places. It can change everything about you. Like one improvement that has happened to me since I've been on my working on my personal goals, it's like my attitude at my job is totally different now, you guys. I found ways to how to deal with different things. Like for an example, if I'm on a call or if I get a a specific type of email that I know it's going to require me to do a lot of work or something like that. I take a moment to just exhale and my exhaling is like, man, I may get up and just take like a five or 10 minute walk. You know, I might take a walk just to get my mind prepared for this task that I have to complete. You have to be in control of your stress level, you guys. Like you got to figure out a way how to control your stress, even especially if you're emotional or if your emotions are taking a toll or it's a lot going on in your personal life. Like you really have to find that, that work-life balance. So I am torn between um, which color palette I want to do. You guys, I want to do something so, so kind of like different. I just don't know what to do, you guys. And I got to do something outside of my comfort zone because I said this is going to be a different kind of type of get ready with me. You guys will see in a moment, but I am trying to figure out what kind of eyeshadow is what I want to do. I am using the BH Cosmetics Dual Effect Wet Dry Eyeshadow. You guys, I have had these palettes for a minute now, and I very rarely use them, but when I do like to use them, I like to do it when I'm on camera with you guys because it makes it a whole lot of fun. But back to what I was saying. So what I was start, what I'm starting to learn is you guys you know, how to deal with, you know, stressful situations. And it's always a better way to deal with certain things. Like you don't have to take everything to the next level. Everything is not so severe. Everything doesn't have to be handled as if it was the last thing that's going, it's like, okay, it's going to be the end of the world because that is so not the case, y'all. Like it's so many different situations where I'm just learning like, no, you can handle it this way. Or no, if you don't, if there's something that, you're not comfortable with doing, you know, let people know, let somebody know, you know, so I'm starting to be a little bit more outspoken and verbal when it comes to different things that I'm not really, you know, sure about and stuff at my job. And that helps me to not only handle like tasks and stuff that they want me to do, it just makes me to handle myself even better, like handle, you know, situations better. Like all you gotta do is ask questions. If you don't know you guys, you just don't know. You know, you just don't know. You just don't know. Y'all, this is so pretty. This is absolutely pretty. I love this color. I don't know what it's called, but it's so pretty. All right, so I know that typically when people do this, they decide to put another color right here in the crease of their eye. So let me see what that color gonna be, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this little pink peach kind of color right there. Maybe to bring it out a little bit more. I don't know, you guys. We'll see. Oh, girl. Okay. You see it? Oh, girl. Girl, can y'all see that? I definitely need a ring light. I need a ring light so bad. I'm sorry, y'all. So the next thing I'm working on as far as my personal goals is like, you know, I'm really starting to realize and feel that myself like, you know, when it's time for you to go to that next level. When you sign on that next level, you know, you probably want to change up your look a little bit. So I have changed my looks up. As you guys know, I did get a haircut like the other part of March, but you know, it's getting cold. So, you know, you want to get a little some extensions in your hair, you know. So I'm kind of like changing up my look too for the fall. That's a whole different thing too. Not only just my hair, but I want to start, you know, changing up how, how I dress and how I feel because I feel like how you dress and everything, it does affect your attitude. And I'm going to go real bold up here, y'all real bold this is bold as heck oh y'all look at that that's so bold i'm about to blend this in with another color but um you know so i'm really like trying to get a feel of um you know so like i want to change up my look okay i'm going to put a little highlight in my crease area <laughs> Yeah, I just want to encourage y'all, like if you have some personal goals that you want to work on, work on. 
and you know make sure you have people on your team that can really you can talk to about you know your personal goals and what you're going through and try your best to you know associate with people that's on your page like y'all can have the same kind of conversations like y'all conversation to be a substance like this person can really understand what you're going to and they can relate this is truly a person that's you know i feel it i, I feel you i got you like i understand where you're coming from like you know y'all can share ideas together and y'all can keep each other encouraged and you know it's just it's just best to be around like-minded people. Okay, so now I am about to put on my eyeliner. All right, but you guys always remember, no matter what you're going through in your life, nine times out of 10 is a solution to a problem. There's a solution to every problem. Now, it may not be the best solution, but it's a solution to every problem. And I think as human beings, we try to fight with reality. We try to fight with so many things because in the end you guys what i've what i've learned in the past for with fighting with myself it's so stressful it is so freaking stressful it's so many stress it's so stressful you guys and that's another thing i had to do some real self-evaluation i like people just say soul searching guys do all that you guys like i've done all that and really was serious about some of the decisions I made. Like really serious, y'all. Hands to creep now. I still feel like my like my shadow is not like it is not. I'm telling y'all, my camera's not doing no justice for the way my makeup looks. I'm so serious. I wish y'all could see it, see it. Plus I got, like I said, I got the new ring light. This light in here sucks. <laughs> it sucks so bad, y'all. It sucks. All right, guys, now it's time for the big reveal. I am going to put on this right here, you guys. <laughs> I'm so excited about this, y'all. I'm so excited about this, you guys. Like, but this right here, isn't it pretty, y'all? So pretty. So we're gonna see. I'm thinking about like this part right here, like cutting this part off up here a little bit so I can put some up under my eye because I think it'll be so free. But y'all, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous because I have never used this before. So we're gonna see how it's gonna turn out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the little piece that I want to go up under my eye. All right, so I got the little pieces right here. So. Let me put them up under. Well, maybe I shouldn't do my eye first. That's probably going to be the part I should do last. I should put this whole part, the top part of my face. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. All right, you guys. All right, y'all. I'm looking at the camera to do the. Oh, girl. You need to stop. Oh, y'all. Okay. Oh. Like y'all, that was so easy, girl. I need a crown on my head. <laughs> oh my god, that was so easy. Like, okay, let's see about this part. I think I want to place this down here, like toward the crease of my eye. Oh y'all, that's so pretty. tell you guys this adhesive you just stick it on your face like it's really that easy it ain't nothing to it y'all y'all it ain't nothing oh my god this is so pretty wow it was just that simple y'all can y'all see it yeah i love it yes i love it all right so let me do a little bit to my um eyebrows a little bit I know I'm doing that with this. Y'all know I do not do that with the eyebrows. Take this pencil right here. Let her shape herself on out. And that's what we do with the eyebrows. I don't go above me on no eyebrows. Do not like them no. though. Y'all. Ooh. 
me out with this one or something now, for real. I always put Carmex as some kind of um, lip, more lip balm on my lip, you guys. So I always, always use this, like, all the time. All right, y'all, I just put on, like, a little, my little color. That's a little shade, y'all. It's nothing too much. It's nothing fancy. Just a little color. It's not a color I really want it, but, hey, you got to go with what you got. Okay, you got to deal with what you got, what you got to deal with. And that's all I have, so I had to use what I had to use, y'all. But anyway, I am really, really, I really, really enjoyed doing this video, you guys, because I was so skeptical about it, but I think it turned out really, really nice. I cannot wait to share this video and just show this look to my family. All right, take the clips out. Girl, I am banging like, huh? Y'all, this is so pretty. Yeah. Get ready with me. Put a little oil on my hair. Yeah, this is so pretty. I gotta take some pictures. Yep. All right, you guys. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know, you guys. Let me know in the comment section below if you like this video with me. And I will see you guys in the next one. I love it, you guys. It's so pretty.